I am going to talk about today Nikon D3500 camera announcement timeline, its code specification and price. Now let's begin with the announcement timeline of Nikon D3500 camera. In general, Nikon takes 2 years of time to update their entry level DSLR systems. So we are expecting the introduction of Nikon D3500 camera in the mid of 2018. Uh, possible in the August and September month of this year but it is possible also that we may see an early announcement because the market competition is very tough specifically if you look at the Canon 200D specification. Now we are going to talk about the core specification of the upcoming Nikon D3500 entry level DSLR camera. As per my expectation, the Nikon D3500 entry-level DSLR camera will going to have a 24 megapixel DX format hybrid autofocusing sensor. It is my expectation. Nikon should add a hybrid autofocusing sensor inside the Nikon entry-level DSLR camera because if you look at the current offerings from Canon, they have the DPAF system. Sony entry level mirrorless camera have hybrid autofocusing system and if you look at the Panasonic they also have DFD based autofocusing systems. So what I want to tell you here is every camera maker nowadays offering a hybrid autofocusing system in their entry level DSLR or mirrorless camera. So Nikon should add a hybrid autofocusing sensor inside the Nikon D3500 entry level DSLR camera. Now let's talk about improving the phase of module of the camera. I am personally expecting that from 11 point phase autofocusing system of Nikon D3400 camera, the upcoming Nikon D3500 camera will going to have a 39 point phase autofocusing system. And from where that 39 point phase of system coming, it will going to arrive directly from the Nikon ultra popular D5300 DSLR camera. So we have a better camera in your front. Now we have already discussed about the part, the hybrid autofocusing system part, the phase autofocusing system part of the entry level DSLR camera. Now I am going to talk about some videographic improvement I am expecting from the Nikon D3500 camera. Nikon upcoming entry level DSLR camera focus the videographic focus should be improved dramatically because if you look at the current offering of the Nikon D3400 camera the video autofocus is very slow and sluggish because it depends upon the contrast based AF system. So if they introduced a hybrid DX format AF sensor inside the Nikon D3500 camera, it will going to upscale the AF speed while you are creating still images at live view mode or you are creating a video. So introduction of a hybrid autofocusing sensor inside Nikon entry level DSLR camera is very essential for now. Now let's talk about the other videographic features that should also be improved inside the upcoming D3500 DSLR. We want a fully articulated display inside Nikon D3500 camera because with fully articulated display you can create the video like I am creating and it is also very essential for your compositional freedom if you are capturing a still shot. The other most important thing I am expecting from Nikon D3500 camera is introduction of microphone jack because for professional quality audio you need an external microphone jack in your camera.
Now we have already talked about improving the still image quality features by introduction of hybrid autofocusing system and improving the phase of module. We have already talked about the video graphic features, how to improve them. Now I am going to talk about make this entry level DSLR camera a bit more social. Nikon should add Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity inside the upcoming Nikon D3500 camera. The predecessor was not doesn't have any Wi-Fi or NFC connectivity options. So I at least expect introduction of Wi-Fi and NFC connectivity inside the Nikon DSLR camera. Now at the end, let's talk about the price range of the upcoming Nikon D3500 camera. I am expecting the camera should remain under $600 price tag with the kit lens or $700 is also a bit expectable but above than that it will not going to fall under the entry level DSLR range. So we have already talked about the announcement timeline, the core specification and the price range of the upcoming Nikon D3500 camera. Do share your thoughts and expectations with the upcoming Nikon entry level DSLR and don't forget to subscribe our video if you like our content. Thank you.